Okay. This is the beginning construction on the Pensonic AM FM transistor radio. And as you can see here, I have the speaker jack soldered in. I have this other little IC soldered in. I also have the LED stereo indicator light soldered in. And I wanted to uh, reach out to anybody that may have some ideas on this. Feel free to comment. Uh, this particular LED did not have any flat spots on the side. And both leads were exactly the same length. So I had to take a guess by looking through the lead at the base to make a decision on what was the anode and what was the cathode. cathode excuse me. I think I positioned it and got it polarized right, but if anybody uh, has an answer to that, a suggestions to that, or anything you may want to leave in comments, feel free. Uh, I'd appreciate it. Uh, this, I haven't done this for like 22 years. I was like a lot of you, I started out young and was into the electronics. And due to my circumstance, I had to give it up uh, at about 22 years old. So I got some experience, but I never got quite the experience uh, that you guys have that stayed in it, uh, that are my age and stayed in it all this time. Uh, I regret that, but it's just the way things worked out. But anyway, uh, kind of from an amateur point of view, this kit, as you can see, it's very well labeled. You know, it shows your capacitors, shows the polarization, all that, your capacitors, the value. Uh, you know, this, this here is where your little antenna goes, your antenna coil. And that's, that's in this here. I don't know if I can turn that where you can see it. Yeah, there it is. There it is. See, this is this is the coil right here, and that's your antenna. And then you have your ferret core, or this is a zinc. I think in that zinc for a ferret core, and I imagine this is wrapped around it, or or goes by it, or something. That's my guess. I haven't haven't got into this real deep yet. So, but from an amateur point of view, um, this kit is fairly straightforward to build. And the biggest things I've seen on it, for me, as an older person, getting back into it, uh, is that SMD chip. And if you're young and got a good iron and uh, got supervision and stuff, you're not going to have any problems with it. You just got to be careful. And uh, on those SMD chips, you want to be sure and keep, keep the heat off of them as much as you can. In, in installing that, a lot of times I would just drag across and then just barely go back and tap them where the heat didn't have a chance to build up. But you, uh, as you put that in, you will get a knack for it and a feel for the way the solder flows and a feel for the board and the way the uh, traces conduct your, co or your solder and stuff like that. But overall, my overall impressions of it, excuse me, but overall, my overall impressions of it, it's a pretty good kit. And it's it's straightforward. Uh, it's they've got it marked real good. Uh, the only negative thing that if I could even find a negative thing to say on it uh, is the instructions on it are good, but the printing on the board is what really kind of aids you because here's the deal with the instructions. Let me get these opened up. As you can see. Everything is printed in Chinese, if you look at that, the whole thing. Now, on the back, you also have a complete set of schematics, which are in English. And they're not insulting us over here, because I think they figure people over here can look at this and know how to put it together. And this is your first part. And I'll kind of drag it here. This is your second. I'd zoom out on this, but uh, this camera has to be refocused on everything. So I'm just going to kind of slide it back and forth here. There you go. But other than that, the fact that uh, it's printed all in Chinese 
and the whole manual is not just the bottom here it's printed in Chinese like that uh, that's really the only negative thing I can say on this little kit so far uh, but the saving grace is is those good schematics and then this uh, I think I've shown this once but this back of the board uh, you know a good picture of the back of the board where you've got an idea where things are and everything they've done in pictures what they haven't done in words is what I'm trying to say and what's the old cliche a picture's worth a thousand words or something like that so uh, anyway uh, that's pretty much going to wrap this up and uh, I just wanted to jump in there and uh, kind of give you guys an idea where I am with it and that I hadn't forgot it and that I am beginning to do some actual physical work on this stuff now and getting back into doing something instead of just reviews. So I'd like to thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. The biggest thing on this for me uh, was uh, the installation of this little IC here which is an SMD component and it is also goes on the back of the board and I was able to install it without using flux but it was a very painstaking process uh, I did have two legs these right here that ran together and I used my copper solder braid to get it very very painstaking and uh, I uh, was able to drag most of the solder across the legs and and work it in and be able to keep it separated now I did something that a lot of people will frown on and I don't know how it will be if this unit needs to be repaired or that IC needs to be removed but I put just a little dab of glue on the bottom of that chip before I soldered it and I maneuvered it into position where all the legs were right and then I let it set overnight and came back the next day and soldered it in my opinion I think this saved a whole lot of trouble because uh, I tried to solder the leading leg on uh, prior to that and it moved around on me and I had to uh, go back in and pull the whole thing and on this delicate uh, you know little chip and I've tried to keep the heat down on it I hope it's not damaged it's hard to keep the heat down and uh, these tracings on this board they're really good they hold up well the high heat but you got to be careful they will eventually loosen and I almost loosened some of them but uh, I did a review on this uh, it's been somewhat time ago and I'm gonna call that part two and there's the name of it it's a uh, Pen Sonic, and I I think that they are kind of copying uh, Panasonic there. Now that's just my own jest on it, but uh, got the, I think you all have seen the case before, and uh, that's the second half. The speaker on that uh, stays in. It is glued in. It's an 8 ohm speaker, and it stays in to my knowledge. And of course, the back is pretty basic, as you can see here. And that's your battery holder, by the way. But this should be, this door removes to put your battery in. I've got one hand or I would remove it. But uh, as you can see, I have a big set of parts left, a big bag of parts left. And there's much to be done on it. So. I just wanted to jump in and make a little review on it and uh, I thought it would be cool to see and give you guys an idea where I am with it so they will probably be a part one a part two and maybe even a part four and then uh, I will have it labeled to where you can jump to the final part where it is completed and demonstrated working so I hope this helps somebody and they get something out of the video maybe I showed them something where they seen a part on this that answered a few questions they may have. So uh, we'll talk to you in the next one. Uh, bye.